Ik heb hier nu al zo'n spijt spijt. Maar ja. So in the late 19th century, all European countries were in a arms race. All countries were defending themselves, were working on more artillery, more army power, and uh, the Netherlands could not stay behind. What did the Netherlands do? Well, they worked with the cheapest stuff available, which is water. And water was widespread over this country as this is the lowlands it is also possible to actually manually flood the country and if you build a ring of places where you can flood the country then this works as a large moat a large moat around the place that you want to defend well that is exactly what they did in the 17th century already which is called the Hollandse Waterlinie the Dutch defense line but in the 19th century, they took it a step further with a last resort. Amsterdam would be the last resort to retreat. They built a ring of 45 big fortresses around the city of Amsterdam to defend the city. And one of those fortresses we are right now, one of those fortresses is Pompus. Pompus is actually an artificial island built in the late 19th century. This worked as a military battery upon which you could overlook the city of Amsterdam right behind me. So then you have made it ashore, then you have to uh, follow uh, this hill, to climb this hill. While on both ends there is gunfire on top of you. And then you reach the top, you reach the top, then well, what happens? The fence was not there, but on two big cannons on top of here. And you have to well jump over mode it's dry mode here About nine meter deep good luck and there I'm waiting you right there welcome now the problem with this um, very well equipped and very modern looking uh, fortress with all the latest state-of-the-art cannons. As soon as it was finished, it was already out of date. What happened? Well, uh, the aeroplane could simply just fly over the whole thing. And yeah, that was sort of the end of this whole very expensive line of defense around Amsterdam. However, in World War I, it still served the purpose. There were about 200 people settled here to defend Amsterdam. And the Netherlands actually stayed neutral during World War I. Probably because of these waterworks and this typical Dutch engineering. So it may have served a purpose. Okay, okay, okay. But in World War I, uh, yeah, nothing really happened here. So. The, the Germans took the arms here and yeah, that was the end of the system. Basically the end of the Dutch defense line and the Stelling van Amsterdam was already in the 1930s when they built the big enclosing dike over there. And yeah, that was already the end of this place here. Too bad. So today Pampas has a monumental status and 
there is a little museum inside the fortress which is easy to access today. Let's check it. There is this Dutch expression saying "voor pompers liggen" to lay for pompers. And pompers does not refer to this island; it actually refers to the sandbanks in front of the Amsterdam Harbor. And these sandbanks caused a problem because if the ship was too heavy, it could not go over these sandbanks. And when this water was still connected to the sea, there were high tide and low tide. While in, during low tide, you could not go over those sandbanks if your ship was too heavy. So you had to wait for the high tide. You had to lay for bombers. Well, this took some time, and this time could be used for, let's say, some fun. And the people around here, they and brought in some booze and some food and some prostitutes mm -hmm. and they made up a little party here well while laying for pompous the expression means to be totally hangover from a big party the island pompous has nothing to do with the expression but i can tell you that it's okay to oh just to oh just to ah, lay for pompous